Anyone see the Has Been Hotel premiere? That was good. It's comics and shots. A completely improvised semi-comedic musing by Howard Stern's Mick the Nerd and YouTube and TikTok's the Mick the Man. Today's subject, Ren and Stimpy. I bought a Ren and Stimpy comic a million years ago when I was but a lad. Published by Marvel Comics. Seriously. Uh, it was, it was wild, you know, like, Ren and Stimpy were, like, digging up grave, and then some William Shakespeare guy is like, hey, let me do, take the skull and do a soliloquy, and then Ren kicks the shit out of him, because hell yeah. And, uh, then Ren tells a story about, like, uh, when Ren and Stimpy fought a gigantic monster called Goo Gum, and, like, uh, you know, it, like, they, they think that the monster just turned evil randomly, but the Ray shouldn't have done that. The, the reason for why he went evil is amazing. He was a piece of gum that was stuck inside a Baju Bazooka Joe comic wrapper for like years and years and years. And the joke was so unfunny that it made him go insane. I love that shit. Yeah. And, uh, fun fact, I'm pretty sure Dan Slott wrote a comic where Spider-Man fought Powdered Toast Man. That's some Marvel canon you didn't know about. Or was it Powdered Toast Man versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Dan Slott wrote something with Ren and Stiffy. Know that. Know that. He also created the character of Zonic the Zone Cop. For Archie Comics, Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm conflicted on Dan Slot. I like some of his stuff. I hate some of his stuff. The Superior Spider-Man story was, let's be real here, while pretty good, just Firestorm, but with, like, Martin Stein in the head and Ronnie Raymond in the back. But instead of m m manipulating matter, it was spider powers. Yeah. That story was just Firestorm. Yeah. 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 And, uh, that comic with Goo Gum, I ended up buying it again. And, uh, got it autographed at a convention by the creator of Ren and Stimpy. Sorry, the real creator of Ren and Stimpy, Bob Kemp. Not John K. John K can die in a pickle factory for what he did for all the horrors that he has done both as an animator and just as a person look it up he's creepy <sighs> you don't think about these things that you just read a million years ago that you just read as a kid but then they come up sometimes and you just remember being happy I'm being happy that you just bought that comic originally at a store at Smithville, New Jersey. This weird little pioneer town slash shopping mall. My father had a caricature store there once. Yeah, he made, he got a storefront to draw people. <laughs> it was wild. Eh. Stories can connect to memory and events of the past, and they'll stick with you for a long time. And I'm happy to read a lot of stories and live a lot of life. With that, have a beautiful time period whenever you're watching this. Like, comment, and subscribe. Donate if you're feeling nice. And always remember, praise be to the Blood Elf. Sorry if the music isn't loud enough. My HDMI cable won't play sound on my computer for some reason. <laughs>